The moon is approximately one quarter the diameter of the Earth, uh, being 2,160 miles across, thought to be mantle rock that was knocked off the Earth by a protoplanet called Theia, about the size of Mars, back, uh, back near the formation of the solar system some four billion years ago. Uh, the moon, as, as you know, is uh, gravitationally locked to the Earth, which simply means that uh, the heavier side of the moon is always facing bottom, which means down toward the uh, gravitational center of the Earth, namely the center. As you look at the moon, the side facing us, uh, you see that there are dark patches, uh, generally round in many cases, and those are called the maria of the moon. Uh, maria is from the Latin word for seas, S-E-A-S, but uh, there is no water there. Uh, those are actually uh, lava flows, dried lava flows from the era when the moon was uh, actively volcanic on the inside as a result of the uh, heat generated by the impact which formed it. But the large lava flows that we see on the Earth-facing side of the moon, uh, the largest of them is called Oceanus Procellarum, the ocean of storms, uh, the Sea of Tranquility, Mare Tranquillitatis, where uh, the uh, Apollo 11 first landed back in, uh, on the uh, July 20th, 1969, um, is another, and uh, right, right alongside it is Mari Serenitatis, the Sea of Serenity, and uh, Mari Chrysium, the Sea of Crises, is a small circular one right on the edge. Okay, there's that five. So this object is also known as NGC 5194. Its distance is estimated to be 23 million light years away from Earth. The Whirlpool Galaxy has been extensively observed by professional astronomers who study it to understand galactic structure, particularly that associated with spiral arms, as well as galactic galaxy interaction. These spiral nebulae were not recognized as galaxies until Edwin Hubble found Cepheid variable stars in some of them. These stars, Cepheid variables, and therefore their spiral nebulas, were so far away that they were revealed to be entirely separate galaxies outside our own. That was the great discovery and contribution of Edwin Hubble. The advent of radio astronomy and subsequent radio images of M51 showed that the Whirlpool and, the, and its irregular companion galaxy are indeed interacting sometimes both together called M51, in which case the individual galaxies may be referred to as M51A and M51B. Designation of C slash 2020F3 indicates a non-periodic comet and the third discovered in 2020. By early July, comet Neowise had brightened to magnitude one, yet it also developed a second tail the first tail is blue and made of gas and ions with a red uh, separation in the tail caused by high amounts of sodium. Okay, there's the Omega Nebula. Thank you. 